Renee was always the most inspiring when she was training for marathons because over the, my time with her running, she had run a couple marathons and every time we would go out for a 10 or even 12 mile run, she'd be out there earlier than us running extra mileage. And I always thought it was really cool that she was willing to self-discipline enough to train for such a huge feat while also making sure that we're all getting our training in. Renee always encourages us to be welcoming and inclusive with our teammates. Um, she's created a great atmosphere where the older girls are always inclusive, which just encourages the younger girls to get into the team aspect of it. And she really just started a cycle of caring and sisterly teammates that continues with, it continues rolling, but Renee always encourages it and makes sure that everyone is doing the best that they can to make the team even more solid. Oh, Renee kicked my butt for four years. She was awesome because I loved running for Renee. I thought running was really, really hard, as did everyone else. But Renee always pushed me to go farther and faster than I ever thought I could. She always made sure I was not in my comfort zone, and that made me so much better. And actually, Renee's work ethic and the work ethic that she encouraged in me personally applied not just to running, but to schoolwork and extracurriculars and anything that I thought was a challenge, I knew that I could do because Renee showed me that I could run 10 miles or run 10 hills or be fifth place in a race or just even finish a workout that was really tough for me and everything that Renee taught me through running has made a huge difference in my entire life. So the um, second to last race where it was like the CIF qualifying one. Um, it was the two mile and I was feeling really nervous because I didn't know whether or not I would make it on to the next race and I was really hoping that I would but it was sort of a long shot. So I had gotten all pumped up for the race and I started it and I look over and Renee just keeps on running like back and forth across the field so like every single lap I would see her like four times. So. Um, she just has like so much positive energy and she's really dedicated to the team. She's inspiring because she cares about her athletes a lot. She's really dedicated to what she does. One time she took me to Trader Joe's to buy food because she noticed that I wasn't eating very healthily and she wanted to change that. She came to a lot of my doctors. I got injured throughout the season and she wanted to know what was going on so she could individualize my running schedule. A lot of the times and during the year we would have morning workouts at 5 in the morning for like select few. <laughs> And then also there would also be another workout for whoever could make the morning workout and she would come to both of them so everybody could get their workout in. My relationship with Renee is really special. It's like she's a mother to me, but she's also an inspirational figure on the track. Uh, she is really there for every one of her athletes in a very individualized manner and I feel like I have a special like bond with her. And she's easy to talk to and fun to tease even. Uh, <laughs> but when it comes time to have a workout and really take things to heart, she's there to like tell us what we need to do or whether we can do something in our athleticism or not. She's also very, very conversational and fabulous to uh, just have as a friend and mom, <laughs> basically a mom. She sees things that stand out in everyone, even when she has so many athletes, and she makes for like a very, this makes for a very individualized um, program when she knows everyone so well, even though there are so many people. And she's taught me to look for the grain of goodness in people. I know I work hard to get to know everyone as well as she does because it, it makes the team bond like that much better. 
One time Renee inspired me was definitely um, going into uh, cross country my junior year because that was my first year for cross country at Costa. It was my first year, I didn't really know what I was doing and definitely going into being a junior um, for Maricosta was tough because um, I was new to everything and even though I did run track for, uh, for the two previous years, sophomore and uh, freshman year, um, I was still really intimidated by all the girls almost and a little bit by her because I didn't really know her too well but she was very welcoming and she um, introduced me to long distance running and I've fell in love with it ever since so that definitely um, geared me t and geared me towards running for college in the future so I'm really happy at USC now and I couldn't have done it without her. Renee is a really inspirational coach because she goes above and beyond the job description of a regular high school coach. For example, after the California State meet this past cross country season, she really encouraged me to run the West Regional Split Locker race, which was something that I hadn't really considered doing before, but she really believed in me and told me that I could possibly be one of the top 10 finalists there. And so she encouraged me to go and she got all of my teammates to run a workout with me that week, even though it was supposed to be their week off. And then she drove us all up to Mount Sac for the race that Saturday and it was pouring rain and really muddy and it was really cold for us Californians. But uh, I really wanted to do the best I could for her, considering everything that she had done for me in the past four years. And I ended up getting one of the last qualifying spots for nationals the following weekend. And uh, it really opened up a lot of doors for me collegially, and I wouldn't have ever pictured myself in that position at the beginning of the season, or even the week before that. And. Uh, yeah, so now I'm running at the University of Pennsylvania next year, and I really couldn't have ever gone to this point without all of her support and encouragement. Renee is not only supportive of us in the good times when we're all doing well and winning races, but also in the difficult times. Early this past track season, um, I found out that I had fully fractured a stress fracture in my foot, and uh, the day that we got the news from the doctor, she had come over to our house and uh, just to make sure that I was okay and give me a hug and support me and everything. And uh, she was really supportive the whole way through my injury. Um, she came to do aqua jogging with me in the morning time before school started and she would come to my physical therapy appointments. And uh, when I was allowed to start running again, she helped transition me back into running and help align it with the program that my college coach sent me for over the summertime. And this is just one of the examples of how she always goes the extra mile to help all of her athletes. Congratulations, Renee, on the 2014 Brooks Most Inspired. That's all dear God. That's all. You say no that. We'll say congratulations, just... on, and you say on the. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Congratulations, <laughs> Renee! We are so proud that you won the 2014 Brooks Most Inspiring Coach. Yeah. <laughs> Take, unbelievable. Perfect.